welcome back to my channel and if you're new hello my name is Abby and today I'm going to be doing a DIY and I love doing DIYs and like the other thing is is I love doing DIYs that you can actually use like you know ones that are just like little trinkets here and there or like whatever the ones that like dollars okay not that dollar store ones are bad but dollar store ones that like you're just making to make and then you don't actually use them or you don't actually like not something that you needed or whatever but this was something that I wanted to redo and I knew that it was something that I could like refresh a little bit and it is my desk chair so the chair itself is from Ikea which I feel like Ikea is kind of the basis for all like DIYs or like up like Reese like upcycle or something like that because they give you very plain things but then you can make them like super great so I sorry I just got my hair cut a little bit ago and I don't know what to do with it <laughs> but I obviously am back home from college so I officially finished my freshman year of college which is super exciting so what you need for this DIY is a chair, any type of chair you have, one that has like not a wooden one. You need one that has like a cushion of sorts. So a chair, I used gold rustoleum gold <laughs> rustoleum spray paint, and then I also used faux fur. Now you can honestly do this any way you want, any fabric, any color, whatever. I'm just showing you what. I did and I'm really excited for you guys to see it and I love the way it turned out but if you guys like this video definitely make sure to subscribe so without further ado let's get into the video okay so the chair that I'm using is one that I just had on my desk for a while and I even put this little monogram thing on it that ended up looking kind of weird um but it was from Ikea I bought it a while ago so I don't think that they have it anymore um, but I will list one that is similar down below and it was just super cheap like you don't need to spend a whole lot of money on it honestly I think it was like $25 and then I used the Rust-Oleum pure gold metallic spray paint and this fur that I got from Joann's so then I'm just going to go ahead and start spray painting it something that like I kind of did wrong was I got way too close a lot of times when I was spray painting and it made like really big like streak marks and it just it was just not good so I would recommend just like going further back and doing lighter coats and you can always just do more coats I sprayed it with the cushion already on because I knew that I would be refinishing the cushion but I actually have to take the cushion off to like staple the fur back onto it so honestly it's just as easy either way I would probably recommend looking back on um, taking it apart first and then spraying it but whatever <laughs> so I'm just gonna take the pieces and lay them out to make sure that I have enough fabric and kind of where ish to cut and so all I did was just take the pieces off the chair and that like black little piece right there is just the fabric bottom of the chair so then you are just going to take your fabric of choice minus fur obviously and shout out to my mom for helping <laughs> but you're just going to use a staple gun and staple it over the edges and try to pull it fairly tight so that it doesn't get all loose and bunchy you're going to want to make sure to cut out the places where the screws are because you don't want to staple on top of that or get that lost in the mix or something and then you'd be screwed um, so you just want to make sure that you know where the holes for the screws are so you can attach the base back on to the chair frame and as you can see it kind of a lot of the fur comes off but once you're done with everything it doesn't shed at all so after all that is done, you're just going to put the chair back on, hold it up, and then you screw the screws in, making sure that you know where the holes are and where you cut the little um, holes in the fur. So 
So here is the finished product in my room and I love the way that it turned out. I think it totally updates it, makes it more stylish and it goes with my room and it was so, so super easy. So I hope that you guys liked this video and if you do anything similar of sorts, definitely let me know. Tag me on Instagram or comment down below. I would love, love, love to see them. So if there are any more videos of this type that you would like to see, definitely let me know. Also, I have a couple other ones like brainstorming in the background, so we'll see how those turn out. Um, I kind of have another room video in the making. Um, but I don't know how long that'll take to be up, whatever. Anyways, so make sure to subscribe if you guys wanna see more videos. I do all sorts of videos, just kind of all over the range of everything. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.